हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस एन इम्पॉर्टेंट एम सी क्यू फ्रॉम ओरल हिस्टोलॉजी अ क्वेश्चन इज विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग हिस्टोलॉजिकल फीचर्स आर अपेर ड्यू टू एन ऑप्टिकल फिनोमिना अवर ऑप्शन आर इनामल टफ्स इनामल स्पिडल्स इंक्रीमेंटल लाइन ऑफ रेड जेल्स हंटर श्रिगर बैंड इनामल लेमिले what are enamel tufts they are hypomineralized ribbon like structures as we can appreciate in the ground section here this is dentino enamel junction pointed by c from where a wavy grass like structures are appreciated uh, running towards the occlusal incisal surfaces marked as a these are referred as enamel tufts next is enamel spindles which are short linear defects found at dentino enamel junction most accepted school of thought to describe spindle is that odontoblastic processes and its endings endings get embedded in the uh, enamel beyond the dentino enamel junction at the time of tooth formation another option given to us was enamel lamellae that is a thin leaf like structure another hypocalcified structure of enamel running from enamel incisal and occlusal surfaces towards the dentino enamel junction as we all remember there are three types of enamel lamellae according to its position being graded type 1 type 2 and type 3 type 1 running towards the middle type 2 running from middle to dentino enamel junction and type 3 intervening till the dentine these hypomineralized leaf like structures in enamel lamellae needs to be differentiated from enamel crack which generally disappears on ground section or decalcified sections these enamel lamellae are the source of initiation of caries as a clinical aspect to remember in future adults then our question was incremental lines of red zeus and hunter sugar bands left with us incremental lines of red zeus are hypomineralized structures and also these are representing the incremental pattern of enamel that is laid down in a successive apposition different layers at the time of amelogenesis as we can well appreciate circumferential dark and light uh, lines uh, appreciated by this point b arrow uh running along the dentino enamel junction so these incremental growth of uh, incremental lines of red zeus are growth lines that are differentiating different layers of enamel deposited at the time of amelogenesis and tooth formation left to us with the last option was hunter sugar band and it is said that it is an optical phenomenon the most accepted according to the recent experiments school of thought is the optical phenomena visualized under a cut section of enamel surface with oblique light we generally see dark and light bands these dark and light bands do not appear in the incisal or occlusal third surfaces of the enamel though till the dentino enamel junction and middle third of the enamel surfaces are well appreciated these dark and light bands are thought to be observed due to alternating directions of the enamel rods with uh, respect to dentino enamel junction as they move away from the dentino enamel junction during the tooth formation answer to our question here is hunter sugar bands which is the histological feature due to an optical phenomena